This is the Z8 dash cam from Packatac. You can find a link to their website in the video description. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what you get inside the box. Also showing you some video footage captured with this and giving you my opinion. Now, why would you want a dash cam? Well, you install one of these inside your vehicle and then if you are unfortunate enough to be involved in a road traffic accident or you're witness to something happening, then you've got some video footage that could potentially be used as evidence. It can also save you some money on your car insurance, so well worth considering that. Now inside the box, well we've got a nice box, very sort of plain box here. We've got some of the features listed on the front. We've got 120 degree field of view, f1.8 lens, three inch screen, full HD video capture, uh, it also uh, senses uh, impact as well, so it will protect video files if something does happen. Inside we have got a warranty card, we've got a user manual, we've also got some little plastic bags that the camera was packed in, but I've already had this out of the box to actually do my testing. In the bottom we have got a full size USB to uh, mini USB charging cable, so you can charge the internal battery on the camera uh, with this cable, or indeed you can hardwire it in. So you can use this cable here, this goes into a 12 volt vehicle accessory socket, and this goes into the camera. This means that it's sort of powered all the time, which is a, a good option. We also get a very generous micro SD card in here, eight gigabytes in total. That's a, a nice generous capacity included inside the box. We get a secondary mount at the moment on the back of the camera, I've got a suction mount, this is a more permanent solution, 3M uh, double-sided adhesive on the back, and then this sticks to your windscreen. We've also got a micro SD card memory reader, so if you've got some footage that you need to transfer across to a computer or maybe email to somebody, then this allows you to pop that memory card in there. This plugs into your laptop or desktop and you can transfer your footage across. We also get a cable for uh, displaying video on another screen. Now, the actual camera itself. So it's really nicely designed, three inch screen on the front. As I mentioned, I'm using a suction mount at the moment because this is a temporary install for me whilst I actually review this. It's on a ball joint, so you can angle it around, and this actually pinches to slide off of the camera and screen, so you could transfer it onto that more permanent mount. Around the side of the camera, We've got the input for the uh, mains cable that I showed you that goes into your 12 volt vehicle accessory socket, micro SD card slot, mini USB slot for charging. Around on this side, we've got a uh, optional GPS module that can connect in here. We've also got connection to another screen and then we've got a protect button so we can protect video files. And then we've got the lens. Now the lens is rotatable. So when this is actually attached to your windscreen, you can rotate this round to get the desired angle to capture your footage. You don't want it pointing down at the bonnet, you want it pointing out the front of the car and getting the maximum view in frame. And it's very easy to adjust because you've got the adjustment on the ball joint in combination with the angle of the camera. Round on the top here, we have got the power on off button. This also acts as a camera or shutter button, so you can actually take individual photos as well. So we turn this on, you can see some footage there of my shelves, and we can rotate this camera around so that we can bring more into view. So this is not the best quality screen I've seen, but it certainly does the job. We've got a touch screen on here as well. So when the camera first turns on, it automatically starts recording. We get a little red LED flashing light here. We've also got some details just here as well. And the details on the screen actually tell you the mode that it's in, the fact that it's capturing audio, and also we've got some uh, access to what it's already recorded by tapping the button up the top here. The screen does go to sleep as well. You need to tap on it to wake it up. If I wanna start recording, at the moment it's not recording, then I can tap this button here. You can see the red LED light flashing and I can tap it again to stop recording. The buffer's quite slow, but at least uh, it sort of records everything to memory card and then you can gain access to the controls again. We've also got a little menu button and in here we can change things like the monitor mode, audio recording, duration of the video clips. So at the moment, for example, I've got it set to record in one minute clips. So it record one minute video clips on the memory card. When the memory cards fill up, it'll go back to the beginning and start overwriting earlier footage. 
We've also got uh, resolution options here, bump detection, and then we've also got main settings as well. So here we can format the card, change the date and time, reset, turn the LCD off, etc., etc. So very well laid out. I want to show you some of the footage this captures as well. I think it captures pretty decent video footage. Not the best I've seen, it's not up to GoPro standards, but you get enough detail there to read number plates, which is obviously very important for this type of camera. It works extremely well in both daylight and lower light conditions. When you're in very dark conditions, you do get quite a lot of noise, but again, that's expected with uh, some cameras of this price point, but it's still acceptable, it still does a good job. I found that the bump detection, which you can change the sensitivity on, is uh, a fairly good feature. You know, I think it does work well, and I think if you're looking for a budget-friendly dash camera, then this one, the Z8, is well worth considering. As I said at the beginning of this video, something like this can save you money on your car insurance as well. Uh, some uh, car insurers give you 10 or 15% discount if you've got a dash cam installed, and I think that's really good. Not only can it save you a little bit of money, it also gives you peace of mind that if something unfortunate does happen, you've got some video evidence of the event. So this is the Z8 dash cam from Pack Attack. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video very soon.